We just got photographer of the year, this gentleman right here. Pretty good. <laughs> Hello, everybody. That's something, isn't it? A quick notice like that, right? Yeah. The lunch was good, by the way. Everything Great. Awesome. Thank you. You can't do better than that. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And it's my great honor to welcome to the White House the 2019 NCAA Women's Basketball National Champion Champions, the Baylor Lady Bears. Okay? And I watched that last game, and that was a tough, rough game with Notre Dame. To Coach Kim Mulkey, I want to just uh, congratulate you and the entire team. And, you know, interestingly, got a little bit of a resume about you, Coach. Should I, can I read a couple of lines from this? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Mind if I do that? Because this is very impressive. So, uh, women's basketball head coach, 19th season. But what's impressive, no matter what Kim Mulkey has attempted in basketball, whether it be the court or along the sidelines, she has found tremendous success. In 18-plus seasons as the head coach, she's attained a 576 career victories and ranks number two among the winningest Division I head coaches in the winning percentage of 853. She's number three, and she doesn't like number three, but she's going to catch it. She's number three all-time by percentage between two mentors. Second rank, Leon Barmore. That's at 869. And, of course, the very legendary Pat Summit at 841. So you're pretty close to Pat Summit. If you have a couple of more seasons, good, you can maybe even take that percentage. That percentage is pretty big. That's an amazing job. And you started off and you inherited a team that was 7 and 20 and was going nowhere. And look what you have right now. Here we are in the Oval Office. Right? I'm so, blessed. Coach, that's Thank really you. fantastic. I just read that through. I heard great things, and I read it, and I felt we should uh, let people know, because that's an incredible 7-20 and 20 to the national championship. Great job. Thank you. Great job. Would you like to work at the White House by any chance? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. We need that. Oh, our vice president, you know Mike Pence, everybody. We him. Thank you. So, again, to your team, uh, you deserved it. Uh, an amazing season, an amazing career. And, all of your cases. I also want to recognize Baylor President Linda Livingstone. Where's Linda? Linda, right Linda. Right Hi, Linda. How, How are you? you? Congratulations. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very proud of this team. Well, it's also a great school. We it have to is remember a that. Fabulous school. It's a fantastic school. And Athletic Director Mac Rhodes. Where's Mac? Hi, Mac. Congratulations. Thank you. Fantastic to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Great job along with some of your biggest fans from Texas. These are friends of mine. These are the same way like you. They're great competitors. Congressman Bill Flores. With Bill? 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 Hi, Bill. So, congratulations. Thank you for inviting me. Do you go to a lot of the games? I, I guess, do. Huh? So it's fantastic, Bill. Good job. And good job in Washington. Congressman Louis Gomert. He's been with me for a long time, Louis, right? We fight that fight. We don't give up. And we won't allow ourselves to lose. Uh, <laughs> and a friend of ours also, a great attorney and a great talent, is Attorney General Ken Paxton. Right behind Where's you. Ken? Hi, Ken. How are you? How you doing with all those cases? Good? Very good. You're <laughs> going to like how it turns out. We don't let them lose any cases. The championship game will go down as one of the greatest in the history of women's college basketball. You would say that, I think, Coach, right? Supposedly one of the greatest games ever. Probably the most stressful. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look great. <laughs> you dominated for most of the game and led Notre Dame by 12 points going into the final minutes of the third quarter. It was very exciting. People were calling and said, you better turn on this game. It looks pretty good. Then one of your True star players, a great player, team captains, Lauren Cox, suffered a painful MCL sprain and had to be taken off the court in a wheelchair. But as you just found out, Lauren's going to be fine. And we want to just say that we're happy to hear that she's pretty much fully recovered and will be back next year, Coach. Yes, right? sir. You'll be back next year? Right? You better be. That's great. After seeing such a vital member of the team go down, Notre Dame, 
surged in the final quarter, tying the game with 16 seconds left, and you had an angry coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, okay. Passionate. <laughs> Passionate, too. As the clock ticked down to zero, Chloe Jackson hung back that half court, drove toward the key, and made a game-winning layup with less than four seconds remaining. It was a play for the ages, and I've heard that from a lot of people. It was, where's Chloe? Chloe? Right here. Chloe, where is Chloe? Good going, Chloe. There was no choke. There was no choke. <laughs> then the game almost went into overtime when Notre Dame was given two free throws with 1.9 seconds left on the board. Well, they don't have that. So tell me, how many of the free One was made? In other words, not two. She missed the first one, second one was bad. And I'm sure you were very, you felt badly about her missing the first one. <laughs> That's fantastic. So she, uh, she went one for two when that was there. Huh? Wow. That's exciting. But in the end, you won the game 82 to 81, and it was a thrilling victory that people will be talking about for many, many years to come. As your coach said, with tears streaming down her face on national television, God is good. He has blessed these great kids. Nice, right, Mike? Very nice. That victory was the culmination of an incredible year. The Lady Bears had a stunning 37-1 and season. Wow. Who was the one team, may I ask? Did you even? Yeah, Stanford before Christmas. Wow. What happened after Christmas? On the road. Uh, uh, what happened there, y'all? No, it won't happen. It was a fluke. Yeah. <laughs> they must be a very good team. Good team. Very good team, I guess. Stanford. Uh, will they yes, be back? Stanford, Stanford will be. Stanford has a very good team They'll be as tough well. again yes, this coming season? Yes, sir. Very good. Well, congratulations to them, too. 37 and 1. You beat your chief rivals, the Texas Longhorns, not once, but twice. And you scored nearly 1,000 more points than any of your opponents and blocked more than three times as many shots. That's incredible. You've left an enduring mark on college basketball history, and you'll all be incredibly proud of what you have achieved in many years to come. You're going to be looking back, and you're going to be thinking about that incredible season, and you're going to be thinking about being in this incredible office, right? This is the Oval Office. This is where it all begins and ends and then begins again. Louis, right? This is a very special place. I've had the biggest people in the world come into this office, and they stop and they look. And actually, some, I have had this too, strong, tough people start crying. Can you believe it? I've seen them where they cry. And uh, it's pretty amazing. But that's where you are right now. This is the Oval Office. This is, I sort of say, you know what I say? That's right. That's interesting. This is sort of the ball game, right? This is the ball game. So it's a, anyway. So I just want to coach, I want to congratulate you. And, and uh, I think maybe most importantly, it's truly a great school beyond everything else and uh, with a fantastic reputation. And we do love the state of Texas, I'll tell you. We've had some good times. I just left recently. We've had some good times in Texas, and they're incredible people. So this is a, a tremendous championship. Coach, could you say a few words, please? Yes, sir. Um, first of all, thank you for inviting us. And we would like to present you with one of our uh, jerseys. <laughs> wow, I love that. And. Um, <laughs> It may not be the right size, I, I but maybe Melania sleeves. will wear it. Well, I'll give it to Melania. You know, I love those short sleeves. Such beautiful arms. <laughs> <laughs> great, great definition. Like I said, Melania may look better in it. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank well, we you. would like to. That's beautiful. Let me get this one very importantly here. Coach, go ahead, please. Chloe Jackson. Chloe, please. Thank you. Wow. That's beautiful. Am I allowed to wear it? Sure is. I'll, put it, I'll mess up my hair, but that's all right. That's all right. It is mine. <laughs> Great job, great play, great play. Thank you. And we'll put that in a very great 
place of honor. That's really nice. Would you like to say something on behalf of the school, please? Well, we just appreciate the privilege of being here, and thank you for honoring this team. It's a fabulous group of young women who worked so hard this year. We don't just represent the university well on the court, but they're wonderful contributors in the classroom and in the community, and so we're very proud of them and really appreciate the opportunity to be here with you And some today. very good students on the team, too, I They guess. are excellent students. They take their classroom work very, very seriously and rep represent the university well. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. you very much. Appreciate that. That's really fantastic. Would you have anything to ask the team? Anybody would like to ask the team anything? Okay. They're so shy. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I ask beyond that, uh, they'll be asking the questions, but that's okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Questions Appreciate for you, it. Mr. President? Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Mr. President, do you still believe that white nationalism is not on the Thank rise? you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys, very much. Thank you, President. Great to everybody. Thank you, President. Thank you, everybody. Mr. President, some questions for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, President. Right this way.